Honey, I can't pray with you today. I have to finish a project for work tonight. As soon as those words left my mouth, I could tell they deeply disappointed Mercy a lot more than I had anticipated. Mercy and I had been about engaged for about four weeks or so at that point, and we treasured every moment that we got to spend together. At our Bible college, uh, couples could only spend two hours together every day. And so we'd spend about an hour between breakfast and lunch and dinner and kind of wedding planning. And then every day from four to five o'clock in the afternoon, we'd pray together for one hour every afternoon. Mercy and I wanted to, to build our marriage on a, on a foundation of prayer. And once we got married, we, we intended to, to keep up that tradition of daily prayer together. And uh, we knew that the couples that pray together stay together. 94% of couples that pray together, you know, remain married as opposed to the national divorce rate of over 50%. So we like those chances of praying together. And so we would pray together every day and but we missed prayer that day. And that night as I drifted off to sleep, I, I couldn't help but wondering, you know, maybe maybe I was disappointing God by, by breaking our prayer commitment. And But you know, it was just, it was just one day of prayer. I mean, you know, what's the big deal? I, I told myself. And so the next day I got up and I said, you know, today, Mercy and I, we got to pray together. And, you know, but after lunch, Mercy said to me, she said, you know, babe, I, I can't pray with you today either uh, because I have an assignment that's due tonight and I'm really behind. And so I'm going to be up till midnight and uh, I got to do that. So I said, all right, okay, babe. So, you know, that, that afternoon I prayed by myself um, at our prayer spot. And, uh, but it wasn't the same. I, I didn't feel God like I have when we normally pray. And so prayed and went to bed that night and whatever. We got up the next day and I said, babe, look, today we got to pray together. I don't care what you got going on. I don't care what projects I got going on. We got to make God a priority in our lives and we got to start out our marriage right. And so uh, we're going to pray. And fortunately, she agreed. And so four o'clock, we met and we walked together. I can remember to this day, we walked into the college auditorium and uh, towards the spot where we would pray by the orchestra. And um, as we were walking up there, a funny thing happened. It seemed like the closer we got to our prayer spot, the the further we felt we felt away from God. And, and once we got to our prayer spot, not only could I not feel God's presence, the crazy thing is I could feel God's anger brewing against us. I mean, God's displeasure towards us was palpable. And uh, Mercy said to me, babe, do you feel that? I said, yeah. She goes, what's wrong? Is, is God mad at us? And, uh, you know, I said, babe, I don't know. And we only missed two days of prayer. I mean, I don't know. And so we decided right then and there that we had better seek the Lord earnestly with all our hearts and, and repent of any sin that, that the Holy Spirit might, might reveal. And uh, so we began to seek the Lord, began to pray, unsure of what was going to happen. And within a few moments, I would say five to six minutes, I heard the Lord speak very clearly to me in a loud, uh, firm, but loving tone, like a, like a father would correct his son. And, and he said to me, Brian, he said, I came two days ago at four o'clock to meet with you, but you didn't show up. He said, I came yesterday at four o'clock to meet with you in mercy, but you didn't show up. He said, that's two days in a row that you, that you didn't show up when I came to meet with you. And you know, it was like the lights went on and, and I got it, I finally got it. God felt like a jilted lover who, who gets, you know, stood up at a fancy restaurant. Uh, two days in a row, we had no show on God and, and God wasn't taking it sitting down. God was not happy about it. And, and I, learned, I learned a lesson um, that was over 15 years ago that st stayed with me my, my lifetime. And that is when you make an appointment, when you make a date to pray, to see God's face, to be with God, don't, don't break your appointment, show up. Because when you make a date with God, when you make an appointment with God, He's going to show up. So, so don't leave Him hanging. 